how to create a landing page using the popular Visual Compose. Let's press on Add New Page and let's explore the, the simplicity and also the power of using Visual Compose. Visual Composer basically is a plugin. So when we create our landing pages, it's always smart first to name our landing pages appropriately. As in, knowing that when someone visits our website, by just looking at the URL, they should kind of understand what our landing page is all about. Because when we start using our WordPress along these lines, then we can increase our website traffic coming from Google. Furthermore, if you're advertising, then the cost of your advertisement will go down if you follow these simple um, core concepts, so to speak. So let's go and press on front end editor. And because I just want to show you the difference between the front end editor and the back end editor of WP Bakery Page Builder. Basically, it's Visual Composer. So the backend editor allows us to create our landing pages by kind of seeing how the page looks while we are creating it. There is absolutely no difference in terms of the ability for us to add elements compared to the backend compared to the front end. Front end is just giving us the visual uh, example, so to speak, before we publish our pages, okay? Because let's add an element. As we can see, from using the front end, we can add a text block here. If we want to delete it or edit it, we all have the same options for it. So I actually don't like using the the front end editor. I rather use the back end editor. I just find it much simpler for myself. Perhaps I'm used to using Visual Composer using the back end editor, okay? But as I've said, there is no difference between the back end editor, the front end editor, apart from front end editor gives us the option to see how the page is looking while we're creating it. But we can accomplish the same thing using the back end editor and then preview our landing page. I tend to choose this option. Now, let's imagine this scenario. Let's press on backend editor and let's add an element. Element can be anything, really. It will depend on what it is that you want to showcase to your website visitors on your new landing page. So here we've just added a page section. Let's do something like this. Within that page section, let's add a text block. And let's save changes. Let's preview. And now we've got a text block, as we can see. But that just doesn't look usable at all. So let's create a couple of additional elements, such as pressing on this plus sign I can add a padding space, perhaps. Let's do that. Let's say I want to have 80 pixels padding. It's visu visible on all devices. I would strongly encourage you to try your best to always use visibility for all devices instead of trying to hide things for different viewports, okay? Now, Let's also do something like this. Let's add a title. Visual Composer comes pre-built with different title styles here. So you can explore different ones, but let's press the fancy title. Let's say, hello world title. I can always highlight things, change colors if I want from here. I can say, you know what, that can be heading to if I want. Okay, I can, you know, change the color, text color from here as well if I want. 
line height is in the size of it let's make that 44 pixels font size change the font weight I can further style the text using these options here for these title settings okay I can align it center if I want viewport animation I can give animation to it look look at the the screen right now look bottom to top so that will be the animation right to left with visual composer it gives you cues as to what that animation will look like when you're creating your landing pages you can add extra class names to further style any element so now let's preview what just happened we've got a title we've got padding but you know what let's do something like this let's do that let's preview that now as you can see with visual composer we can grab and move things around to be placed somewhere else okay so keep that in mind because that will come in handy just take a look at this example let's say I want to duplicate this title here I just press on clone grab it put it down let me clone the text editor grab it and put it down and then add it the second title let's say that's two let's preview and you can kind of begin to understand the power of using visual compose that means you can not only create elements but you can quickly and easily duplicate them including the page section let's duplicate that I can press on the minimize toggle icon to now work on this if I want now in this example I would like to delete that delete the not delete but perhaps edit the title let's do something like this hello world second title let's do that now remember we've got two page sections now okay but with the first one I want to change the structure of it let's do that let's press on as in hover over this column here okay and then say you know what I like to have something like this here okay now in this example I can now quickly and easily move things around including the title here let's do that now let me just delete this delete that let me preview now yeah, we've got two page sections and all of a sudden I've just changed the layout so to speak and as you can see that's more usable right now it's more easier for the visitors eyes to read the screen and know where the next line is because if the text is the layout is too big for let's say desktop devices by the time your visitors read this entire line at this moment it's proven fact that their eyes may not know which is the next line that's why keeping things readable is only smart for your website conversions now let's move on and let's say to ourselves this let's add it as in duplicate clone delete 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 that as well let's do something like this let's put a text block for the time being let's press on the page section um, settings let's grab the background color and say let's make that blue background attachment let's say fixed and let's put an image background image and uh, let's say the background image is this here let's set the background image I can select portrait sides so that's different size you need to have different aspect ratio 
if you place an image here that will be shown on a mobile device so to speak okay so you can read through it i'm not going to explain that because it's straightforward really it's a different size image that you want to be shown on mobile devices let's imagine this scenario background position center center background repeat no i don't want images to repeat i just want one image to be shown right in the middle do i want to cover the whole background let's do that cover the whole background parallax background speed factor let's do that background video in this example no but i can always put a video url so i can perhaps upload one or just select youtube video to be shown here okay so let's just select no to the video gradient let's put a gradient like this i okay color is let's say this visibility 40 percent so to speak select section layout no sidebar that's okay but i can select different sidebar if i want right from here page section adaptive height page section okay minimum height let's say 500 pixels full width yes full screen height no okay i can add different settings as to paddings and margin let's get don't need to give margin scroll not visibility for all devices let's say rank your full with raw save changes preview change watch what happens now with exploring the settings i've just got a background image with a gradient overlay and that looks beautiful and it's responsive as well to a degree that if I resize, the text element resizes. If I place a portrait image, that's going to look better as well, okay? But let's imagine this scenario. For this section, I think to myself, you know what? I want to showcase a background image, but I want things to be centered. As we can see, that looks much better now, right? So now... With Visual Composer, you can do so many things. You can add a video player, Google Maps, you can add raw HTML, image gallery with just two, three clicks. Let's select this example. Let's grab some sample images. Let's say this one, this one, this one. Three images in our gallery. Let's say full size can read through the size options open pretty photo or custom link so you can make the image clickable css animation let's say bouncing left let's save changes preview and look what happened two three clicks i have a beautiful looking image gallery here That's the power of Visual Composer. And I can continue changing the layout or adding more items. Here we have elements. All to make your job easy, they went ahead and created as in grouped similar items. As in content, it's to do with content. Social, it's to do with social. Structure, it's to do with the structure. You also have WordPress default widgets. You can say, okay, how about a slideshow? There's so many different options here. Laptop slideshow. Let's grab that. I'll just show you what this is all about. Let's say this one here. Let's add an image. Full width speed is that. Even just leaving things at default. Look what happened now. Let's preview. And I've got an image that's within... A laptop now look <laughs> how great is that in fact I created a page element for ranker.com website using my own laptop which I think is much better than the visual composer okay so that laptop image I created it 
but with Visual Composer, you can create beautiful things with just few clicks. Okay, let's imagine you wanted to have, depending on the theme that you have, you can perhaps use some of your theme elements right in here. I've got WooCommerce, perhaps add to cart to a certain product. I can use Visual Composer for that. So I can't cover all of these in this video tutorial, but rather show you the simple side of using Visual Composer, as well as guide you in the right direction in terms of how you need to explore it. Frequent last questions may definitely become handy. Then all you do is say, okay, what's the style? What's the color? And so on. And you've got frequently asked questions. You can use Visual Composer to build. Anytime you don't want something, just delete it. Anytime you want to edit an element, press on the pencil icon. You've got design options as to you can add borders, margins, paddings from here. Change background images and so on. For myself, I tend to leave most things default when creating landing pages using Visual Composer. But nonetheless, you have that option, okay? And always you can press on your mouse key and grab it. And don't leave it till you move it to wherever you want that page section to appear. Remember, this is Visual Composer, right? But I can press on classic mode and let's press on text. Basically, it's a short code. So that page section was generated with this. And let's say when we added class elements, it was this page section short code starts with this block. Let's find the end of it. And that's the first page section. And that's the second page section. So if I highlight that and copy, go towards the end of the page and paste it. Let's now see what happened in the, the front end, so to speak, as in the back end, so to speak. Now I've just copied this page section, as we can see, it looks the same. And I made it go down the bottom. And how did I do that? Well, Visual Composer is basically a plugin that allows you to use Visual Composer short codes. Make sense? As you progress and learn more about Visual Composer, you may actually be able to create your elements using the classic editor although not suggested okay so that is how simple it is to create landing pages using visual composer at the end of the day remember you create landing pages for your website visitors therefore always ask yourself how you can relay the information that you would like to present in a simple and easy to consume manner knowing that just because certain plugins give you fancy elements such as animations and so on you know what you need to ask yourself does that really serve my website visitors um, interaction with my website if it does do use the animations if it doesn't why use it meaning you never use elements just because they look good only you use it surely it looks great but does it serve the website visitors interest because if you want to present your content and let people read on your landing pages then do you want to distract them with a huge css animation going left to right make sense remember simplicity equals higher conversions for your WordPress site. This video session is part of the free course made available by Renkia. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.